So I'm walking back up the hill I just walked down. It's now 510 and the sun is setting now. It will rapidly set. In 15 minutes, it will be over the horizon. I want to get some color. But the, um, the thing I forgot to point out is the, uh, the drastic uh, shadows that occur uh, in the New Mexican landscape. It's really something that's um, hard to understand unless you live here. But you actually um, can trip and fall yourself badly in between the stars and light. I just saw a guy trip and uh, so you know it's a reality and it happens um, probably too frequently but right here you can see now that's an espinot this is supposedly a, uh, uh, an expensive district um, it apparently was involved in the 60s riots this area right here, from there to the Air Force Base, was used as a rock concert, and then people were killed which ended. And there's evidence of a long period of, of uh, it being a combat zone. It still mostly is. People are being robbed all the time, but people of some wealth do live here. And the houses are big up in this direction. And uh, it's just a little bit, uh, it's weird. Um, I think the issue though, mostly is a well. Uh, um, there is a water well, and there was a resort across from the airport. Um, and the apartments that I live in were for the servants to manage the resort, or it was a uh, vertical um, stable or farm where animals were kept. In case um, there's a golf course, um, half of the course is missing. I'm not sure where that went to. And, uh, and there's a pool. And the pool has all these, like, had these things. They took a lot out since I took photos of them. Um, different, like, uh, ancient remedy type uh, added values to touch them. Cold, um, fired, uh, heating areas that heat the deck, um, barbecue areas in a, a grassy areas, big trees, uh, big walls surrounding it. And the pool is quite deep, but um, the size of it isn't like uh, scaled for competitive swimming. It's, it's for something else. Um, and uh, it has lots of jets in it that um, go on and off and do things to people. And it has capacity to chill itself and heat itself at any point in time. And it appears to have a one-to-one -one or a two-to-one water change capacity um, in a few hours. All of which is medicinal pool type stuff. And uh, there were some pictures of it um, from its heyday when it was part of a resort in the pool and they took them down. I didn't get to take a picture of them. Anyway, so I'm, I'm cresting over the, that little ridge where they might consider this to be uh, more wealthy. These names on the streets aren't original. During the Clinton administration, most of these changed and the names, Ridgecrest is probably original, but these side streets aren't. The names indicate um, the person receiving the tax. During the Clinton administration, they privatized the IRS and made people wealthy. This is the street down the street that we're I took a video of the island of the, of the mountains here, the east, and the moon and the sun. Where's the sun? Now, many of these trees are related to what they call the Basque, which was a gigantic undertaking to um, put foliage on the Rio Grande and create a greenway. And that foliage goes mostly from New Mexico all the way down to Mexico, where the Rio Grande enters the Gulf of New Mexico. It apparently, it's a streamway that goes through the Gulf 
all the way into Colombia, into the Amazon, and then exits finally in Brazil. So it's it's a long, long river, and it, it goes north and, and meets the Colorado River into Canada. So we're at a five minute point, and that's probably enough. But um, it's not really anything like it. exotic, interesting that I've been found. There's one house up here that was a monastery that's all fenced in, and someone lives there. There are like uh, monk crosses on some of the trees, um, and people have talked about there being a monastery there. I haven't seen it. There is one about three miles that way on what they call the San Mateo, which is a major street. That's a private library. And so you see how it gets bright and dark. And it's kind of like, oh, it's kind of interesting in showing. There's a house over here that I designed um, as part of an entree to a plant that I designed. We were going to use the proceeds from the plant to create homes for flower girls and their boyfriends as a uh, as a uh, board. And uh, they bagged it for uh, shares from the, the plant. This, this house was built by someone. This is the design, initial design. It's kind of fascinating because look, there's a roof. Not that it's anything great, but um, it uses uh, insulated panels on a steel frame, quick set building, and then a stucco out exterior. The exterior could be anything, but in this case, you need stucco. Um, it's been here about 10 years. And um, they just be stuck with the exterior. Again, it's not anything great, but the cost of building is about twenty-five thousand, as opposed to several million for these ones. And there's the, the great sun.